All right, ladies and gentlemen, Retro Studios Inc. What the fuck is going on? Is he? What is he doing? What is he? What is he? This is an Alice. What is he doing? The truth is, um, we're about to play something really kick-ass. Metroid Prime. That's right. You guessed it, folks. We're gonna play Metroid Prime uh, on the GameCube because I now have a capture card in, um. I haven't even finished. We'll go to. We're of course, gonna go to a new game here. And it's a bad decision, but we'll play hard mode. Um. All right. So here's the thing. I haven't even finished Alice yet, but I'm on such a high note from killing the Jabberwock that I decided, you know what, fuck it, let's go ahead and play a new series. So, the next one I wanted to start was Metroid Prime, because I haven't quite figured out how to do streaming yet, and once I do, I'll probably, for the most part, move over to that, um, and I'll move kind of in between more, like, regular, I'll do some regular streams, but I also want to do um, practice for speed running on um, Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem. So, hopefully, um, I can maybe even set a record for that. That would be really crazy, and I would love, love, love to um, play at a. AGDQ or SGDQ, but right now I'm just kind of, I'm in the middle of trying to get moved myself, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but uh, right now we're about to land on the ship, and actually let me set a uh, stopwatch real quick. Alarm, stopwatch, and we'll just go ahead and start the second we get control of Samus here. And then I will check this stopwatch periodically until we're at time wise. And um, we might stop at the end of the first boss slash arriving on Talon 4. Um, and we have control of Samus. Alright. So, oh yeah, should probably zinc. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, sink. So, I actually know this game really well, as opposed to Alice, which I've only ever beaten once. Um, do I have more for you? <gasps> I do. Hold on. Oh my god, I managed to get that even without the proper audio. Um, my audio is a bit off right now because, um, I am running it off my computer's AI. I mean, not AI. Wow. I am running it off of my computer instead of via my TV because my TV does not have a headphone jack, which I wish it did because then I could get direct sound and it wouldn't be so off for me. And things like double bomb jumping would be somewhat easier to uh, deal with. Um, I am going to try and get as many of the scans in this game as I can. However, it is going to be somewhat difficult. Um, there are... I'm just going to blow him up. Okay, so we got a research there. And you can't scan pirates until after the ship, if I believe. If, I'm, uh, if I remember correctly, anyway. Um... We'll go in here, we'll grab the map. And... 
Yeah, so... I'm gonna try and get as many of the skins as I can. There are some that are either a bitch to get, or I won't realize that there's only one opportunity to get. Um, the most annoying one, in my opinion at least, is the Ice Shriek Bat. Um... Because there's only one place you can get them, and there is a uh, trigger in the game after a boss fight. I think it's the like big. It's the big ass she goth that you have to fight in order to get the wave beam. Um, okay, it's the right way here. Um, but yeah, you have to fight a. Oh, hello. Can we not? I was definitely right in that electricity and didn't do anything for me, so that was kind of nice. But, um, yeah, I think the trigger to, uh, permanently remove ice, uh, shriek bats from the game is actually defeating the, uh, big she -Gaw. Yeah. Okay, it's dead. I don't care. We're moving right along, because I just... Like I said, I would like to, um, at least get... Jesus, can we please... To, uh, Talon 4. So, and then scan this for a research. Remember that we can bring those to you. Okay, so here's the thing now. Is that it? There we go. The defense turret's disabled. Okay, and this is the only time you can get this log. I think every other log in the game, you can still get later. Um, some people su have suggested, and I'm not saying like in the comments or anything, but I've read like walkthroughs and such that say that you can actually pick up data entries for these in, um, I'm gonna fire a rocket at this just to see what happens. Okay, nothing cool. Um, by scanning them in there, which you actually cannot do. Um, which sucks, because that means I could get the Ice Shriek Bat right here and never have to worry about it later in the game. But, unfortunately, it is not so. Okay, wait, can I get... Yeah, because I was going to say, there's at least, like, one... Yeah, space pirates honestly are not all that tough. Um, the game likes to... Oh, okay, this one just enjoys being a pain in the ass, though. There. God, that was awful. But yes, there are things in this game that you can only scan once, and it sucks if you're trying to get everything. There we go. Go ahead and grab this. Scan. Step into this elevator, and we're already pretty much at the uh, boss here. We're only like six minutes in, so we'll probably go ahead and... Um, Go forward when we get to a uh, Talon. Oh, hello. Oh my god. I can't believe I forgot that that guy pops up. That's like one of the. Ugh. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I'll admit. Um. Oh, right. Defense turrets. Hold on. Alright, cool. Okay. And then 
we'll go ahead and activate this, head towards the door here, turn around. There's probably not much of a chance I'm gonna die here. I don't think I've ever died to this boss. Um, the Parasite Queen here? I don't think I've ever died fighting the Parasite Queen. Um, but this is also hard mode, so... I don't know how much damage it's going to do relative to, uh, normal, so... We'll find out. Just uh, sit back and enjoy the cutscene here. That was not the button. Can we not? Oh, I really thought for a second that that might have hit. I have managed to hit this guy with a charged shot, or a girl, I guess, since it is a queen parasite. Um, I have managed- oh my god, could we stop that? I just want you to die. Yeah, I noticed my missiles are low. My health's not honestly doing too great either. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we're about 10 minutes in now, it looks like, and, um, Parasite Queen is dead, we'll head down to Talon 4, lose all our powers, as in traditional Metroidvania fashion, as this type of game is called Metroidvania, but in traditional Metroid fashion, I suppose. Oh my god, stop getting caught on the walls. It's not like there's really that much of a, uh... uh we need to go this way. Yeah. I did remember the defense card, so that's good. Uh, yeah, they're about to get wrecked. And then... There it is. Oh, right, I don't have missiles. Just blast the shit out of it. Oh my god, I'm at 36 health. Oh my god, I am getting wrecked. Okay, apparently space pirates hurt a lot more in hard mode than I thought. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna jump back up there and I'm gonna morph fall right past him. Because I do not have time to be fucking around like this. Alright, cool. And get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, thank you. The thing that sucks is those parasites are going to be such a problem because they, they hurt a pretty decent amount in the regular game. 
but um, in hard mode, I could see them becoming a legitimate problem. Oh man, I just realized too that if I die here, oh no. Please let me through, let me through, let me through. Okay. Okay, I can use the missiles, but I really need help more. Go ahead and fall down here. Oh god. 15 health, are you fucking kidding? Oh my god. Wait. Uh, okay, fuck it, we're going. I think this is the one where I gotta be actually really careful about. Because, yeah, there's the piston. through and just wreck my everything if I sit there too long. Which is of course why you follow it and then just fucking go. Alright, so with this I shouldn't have to worry about damage anymore. Because here's Ridley. And... Oh, god I hate this desync of sound. He's just gonna disconnect himself and uh, fly off. Oh man, I forgot. Ridley hurts a lot in this game, even on easy. Like he's pretty painful. Come on, come on! I've got 22 energy. I really need to get gone. Oh yes. And explosions, we're gonna lose our powers. Oh no, not again. Damn it, Samus, come on now. Ugh. Alright, so we step into the hologram. Uh, looks like this is the side I wanna face. Three minutes, okay, so I should be fine. Pretty much right as I head out this door. Like, it's pretty much over. is depressurizing. Alright, so I just get to sit here for a sec. Boom. Alright, oh, I don't have more far right now. So he's gonna fly on off. And, um. Jesus. Sorry, I was reading a uh, Facebook thing while I was on here. I love my friends. <laughs> so, yeah, with that, we are heading down to Talon 4 to chase Ridley. Um, and we are gonna land in, I wanna say it's Town Grove, but I'm not 100% sure that's the, uh, name of this particular area. Might be. If it is, I'm gonna be decently surprised. Pretty happy with myself that I even remembered that. But, um... I'll be honest, the Talon Overworld section of this game is probably one of my all-time favorite environments. It's just so beautiful. Like, I love how plants are just absolutely everywhere. They're luscious, they're green, they're just diverse, and I absolutely love it. I'm I'm a big fan of, like, plant life and things, so... Save? Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Game has been saved. Okay. Land oh, they just call it landings. Fuck you, then. 
Alright, and I know that if we go back here and oh mm, fine. We can actually get our data from our ship though. And we can get the from the what's it? It's not called Venom Weed, it's the other one, Tangleweed. Alright, let me try the other side. There we go. Tingleweed, yeah. Okay, so it looks like we don't get data logs from um, expansion type things. Um. <sighs> okay. So, I, I'm going to give this a shot real quick. There's supposed to be... Alright. I don't know if I can do this, but I know it's a speedrunning trick. And, uh... That didn't help. I wasn't supposed to fully scan it. There. Well, shit. I guess I just ruined it now. And we're not gonna save because there's no reason to save right now. But with it, you're supposed to use your dash in order to jump there, which from there you can go over to that door, and to that door you can immediately, uh... Alright, the beetles. Alright, cool. Those are both dead. Can we get an entry from this? No. Um... Okay, so those are taken care of. Um, we do get one from this, though, from the sap sacks. And if we go over here, we can get... These are either gamers or gamers or zoomers. This is a zoomer. The red ones are the gamers, I guess. That's a blast cap. See, oh, there it is. Gamer. Okay, now as we head over here... Um, do I have charge beam? Or is... Wow, I don't even... Oh, I should have scanned that. Damn it. That's fine. I can deal with that later. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's see. Uh, nope. No helps. No health again? Alright, well, that's cool. Oh, well, I am at full, so. And then, we go ahead and step in here. What are we looking at time wise? We're looking at about 21 minutes, so I'm thinking we'll go ahead, pick up whatever the first item upgrade is. Which I believe is missiles, which. Oh, God, the hive mecha. Uh. So. I played the hard mode on, um, the, uh, the Wii version of this. Chose a lore. Um, and on the Wii version of this, I got completely wrecked by the Hive Mecha. I think twice, maybe three times before I actually managed to beat it. Um, just because... While I do like that they do implement the motion controls, um, the thing I didn't like is how much of a bitch it is to just flat out turn around. Oof. 
so. Good to go there. I think we go through this door. Not 100% sure. Fuck it, let's do it anyway. Okay, and Scarabs. Cool. Looks like they still only do like one damage. This is an I something? Ion. And you can blind them with your, your just regular beam here. And later, you can uh, completely actually destroy them with... Oh my god, you're really gonna do this like every fucking time? The thing is, I do want to keep the hints up because I don't know specifically where I need to head to every single time. And then, here the war wasps are gonna come after me. The thing that sucks is I can't do shit about them until I get the missiles. Um, I can't scan their hives though, can I? Because that gives me a creature. I thought it was a would be a research since it's a structure, but I guess not. We're gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, I figure by the time I get done with hive mecha, we'll probably be about somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes in. So, uh. Yeah, the thing that sucks the most about, um... At least in my opinion about War Wasp, is they're just so fucking persistent. Okay. Cool. That's done. Oh, here is a plasmite? Hey! Seriously, when I say I remember games like this, people tend not to believe me. They should stop doing that because it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, also, quick note while I'm here rather than there, this water, you can't really tell here because it's pretty dark. Um, actually, let me, let me mess with the brightness for a sec. Visor... screen brightness. Yeah, and then we'll have a, a better idea of what's going on when we get out there. But, um, all the water is green because it's being poisoned right now by a flagara. A flagara, something like that. Okay, so here's the thing. This guy sucks. A lot. Like, I, I don't like this fight at all. I personally would love to avoid it. Which, I mean, I guarantee there are ways you can avoid it. Especially if you were to get the uh, space jump boots early, but I fucked up to where I can't even try it now. So, starting off, I'm immediately going to scan this. Okay, and then... Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, that is awful. That is bad. That is so bad. That is so bad. Wow, I'm about to die. Yeah. And this is why we saved. See, I want to get the... Oh, you know what I should do? I should just wait until there's one left. That's what I- okay. That was a really dumb thing to do on my part. I always think Samus' eyes are cross out there. Okay, so... We're just gonna ignore the war wasps, because we can just buzz right on through here. go. And of course I still get hit.
Yeah, the telltale sign. Oh, I can't get the pickups. Fuck you. Ugh. So we go in here, scan the fucking plasmites again. <sighs> yeah, also the thing that sucks is um Samus cannot jump well in any sort of liquid until um I can't skip this, okay. Until she gets gravity suit. So her movement is incredibly restricted then. Have this one. All right, I got the download. Oh my god. These guys suck. I'm watching my motion tracker is what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, 35 energy, I can so do this. Looks like we're about 30 minutes in. Whew. You don't want to talk about a stressful fight. There you go. And now we have missiles. Press Y to fire, but we already knew that. Blast the door here and go through the tangleweed, which is one of the very, very few enemies in this game which does not actually try to kill you. It just slows you down, kind of like, um, how water slash, uh, well, I guess, can't wait. Anyway, um, it slows you down. And that's about all it does. Alright, but now, since we have this, you can actually come out here. And you can blow that to bits. Do we get a research? No. We do not. But, oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. You can blow that to hell. Blow the blast caps there. Because they will explode if you get near them. 
and then on top of that, um, what they will do is, oh, there's a save room right here, isn't there? Oh no, wait, this is map room. Map room. Nice. Um, you know what? Looks like I said we're about thirty minutes in. Let's let's go for one more thing. Let's see what we can do real quick. Let's see what we can get sorted out. Um, let's head back here. Uh, we don't have to deal with ions yet. However, war wasps, we do. Okay, so we're good. Oof, those guys are a lot more painful than I remember. Yet again. Oh, so, interesting fact. The reason that they have... You're gonna see these, um, S-shaped tunnels and things a lot in the game. Well, the reason that they have them is actually because the GameCube can't really handle the loading times all that well here. Well, I mean, all the data it has to process. And um, those tunnels give the time that you need to uh, handle that. Oh, hi, Jesus, get the fuck away. Um, I think the next one is over here. Alright. So, yeah, we've got our missile door here. Alright. We're not allowed. Oh my god. Can, can we stop with the not having the charge beam right now? Because I would really appreciate having it. Oh my god. I also really don't like these swarm enemies. You don't have to deal with them so much as uh, Metroid Prime 2. There's a few, I think. But nothing exactly like this, I don't think. And not as frequently encountered. Okay, yeah. So this is... The armored beetle for the more fall which we can actually head back to where we just were right before the uh, last boss fight we can pick up an upgrade there and then in that first room where we encountered the war wasps we can once we get the bomb ability we can use that to get another missile upgrade so we'll go ahead and jump down here and we'll get swarmed by like 50,000 beetles oh voice cracked And I was not kidding, if you look at the motion tracker right now... I'm just kind of circling around them, so that they all kind of get into one position. Landed right on top of one there. Almost done, I think. Jesus, there's a lot of them. I'm trying to conserve my missiles for the boss. Because the boss actually falls pretty easy to missiles. And this is either the plated or armored beetle or something along those lines. And it's interesting because it has no visible eyes. And um, if you hit it from the front, you're an idiot because they just bounce right off. Plated beetle, okay. Um, vulnerable only in the real abdomen. See, that's the thing, like, it's really nice to scan these things too. Alright, I don't have charge beam.
Boom, done. And just like that, I win the fight. And I get to go clean Morph Ball as my prize. And yeah. Once I get, well, hold on. Do I need missiles or do I need bomb? Sandstone. Okay, that's bomb then. And just like that, we've already gained back two of our um, previously had um, abilities. Now, one of the things that sucks is this is one of the rooms where later on um, you'll have to fight Chozo Ghosts if you ever have to come back, which we do have to come back to this room later on. Actually, I am going to just roll on by here. And, oh, hello, everybody. I do remember there's a speedrunning trick to gain that, I just don't know what it is. Um, save room, save room, save room, save room. I guess the closest would be the War Wasp room. So we'll go back there, and we will... Oh, shit. Oh, only five damage, that's not bad. We will head back to the War Wasp room, and just go ahead and... Save our game real quick. There we go. Jesus. All right. Cool. They're taken care of. I've got missile upgrades. We are gonna go ahead and save and call it a day. That's not the save room. This is the save room. I'm not even looking at the map at this point. Um, because I really don't need to. I've got a decent understanding of the map layout already. Um, Alright, but until next time, I will catch you guys later. Um, I will be doing this as a regular series. Um, and I won't release this until sometime after Alice, probably immediately after. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Anyway, until later, I will catch you guys later. And hopefully next time we'll be able to get a couple more uh, items in. But, uh, like I said, really? Only 24 minutes? This has only been recording 24 minutes? My, uh, my thing must be way off then. That is weird. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out, I guess. Later.